Hi everyone, this is Penny from Wacker Witch Astrology. I hope you are having a great year 2020 so far, and we are coming into our very first full moon of the year, and it is in Cancer, in such a stark contrast to all of this Capricorn energy that we have going on right now. So of, of course, whenever there is a full moon, it comes in opposition to the sun. That's part of what a full moon is. Um, but I believe we have some planets in conjunction to the sun. Yeah, so we're going to have Mercury in exact conjunction to the sun. We are going to have um, both Saturn and Pluto in a looser conjunction to the sun. So I also made a video about how that Saturn-Pluto conjunction is affecting each sign of the zodiac. Uh, if you haven't already watched that, make sure you go ahead and do it. And I wanted to uh, go ahead and take this opportunity to do a video explaining um, what kinds of endings, what kinds of realizations or epiphanies each sign is going to be having during this full moon transit. Uh, so we are going to go just in order throughout the wheel, and we're going to start with the sign Aries. So Aries, you have had so much energy being poured into your goals, into your long-term ideas, and what you would really like to accomplish in life. Uh, but this full moon is happening in your area of home and family. So there might be something regarding your home life, regarding your family life, uh, so this may go all the way back to your roots and your upbringing and what your grandma told you and what your grandpa told you and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you have something there going on in your head and maybe even going on in your life. Maybe you're still interacting with these people in a way where you need to kind of tell them what's up. And you're going to have something there that has been blocking you from uh, being being able to be who, who you really are, who you really are meant to be. Um, one of those blockages is, is going to get resolved. It's going to get cleared up. You're going to say, okay, I'm, I'm over living in this tiny home. I want to have a home where I'm actually comfortable. And that's my goal for this year, to move into a bigger house. Or you might say, I'm kind of over letting my relatives think that I'm this person who I'm not because it's just not vibing well with me anymore. So that's what Aries is going to be going through. For the sign Taurus, I find it so interesting that we are going through uh, this Uranus and Taurus transit, this go at it. Um, it's, it's a concerning aspect in a lot of ways because Uranus is about change and Taurus doesn't really want the change. Uh, so I've been posting a little bit about that here and there too. Uh, not as much recently, but if you scroll, you'll find some stuff about it. So uh, what what is going on for uh, Taurus? has more to do with, with higher learning, with religious experiences, with branching out from what you've already known, uh, from growing not just as a person, but really as a soul in those kind of like profound ways. Um, and you, you, might, you might be feeling like, you know, this, this isn't always easy. There's some things that happen that just aren't super pleasant um, that lead you to your path of soul growth. Uh, so that might be going on this week as well. I don't want to get too specific because it's, um, yeah, anyway. So then the full moon is happening in your house of communication. Um, so I feel like there's some idea that someone had about you or some misunderstanding that they've had that you're gonna have to kind of put to an end. You're gonna have to say, no, that's not actually the way it is. Um, you misunderstood and I'm sorry that you did, but we just aren't on the same page the way you thought we were. Okay, next we have Gemini. So uh, my poor Geminis, they have all of this, this big Capricorn stellium is happening in their eighth house, which is not a pleasant house. Um, and then they have some activation happening right now in their house of relationships as well. So they might really feel kind of pressured to, to make a decision, to come to a conclusion on uh, how they're going to be relating to the people that they're close to in their life right now. Um, I had one Gemini friend come to me and explain just kind of like a feeling of dread she was experiencing. And that's exactly what I would expect from having all these heavy planets in your eighth house right now, Gemini. 
So the full moon is actually happening in your second house, which is your house of, uh, of money and of resources. So what that really means is uh, something there is going to be resolved. It might be some confusion about you know how you are going to file your taxes. You've got it figured out now. It's okay. It might be um, some misunderstandings about resources or specifically distribution of space. There might have been some disagreement in your household or with people you work with about how the space in the building was going to be used and um, it's going to be stuff like that. And if, if you were if you were meaning to talk to your boss about getting a raise, this is also going to be uh, bringing it to a resolution. But uh, with the amount of pressure that's been on you right now, I feel like for a lot of Geminis, it's likely that they're just going to decide to give up on even asking for that raise because it, you might just feel like you're too psyched out about it. You're too nervous about it. You have too much going on already and you don't want to bother having to uh, ask for something like that. So just something to be aware of. Uh, you might want to rethink that now that I've pointed it out and um, try to focus on how you're going to actually create the life that you want to create. So the next sign is Cancer. So um, Capricorn transits are going to be the hardest for Cancers because they are in opposition uh, to Capricorn. So you have just a lot going on with other people. You might feel like there's there's stuff being brought up from the past. There's memories from the past that still haunt you. Uh, there's heavy decisions you've been having to make and you've really had to think seriously about your partnerships with people right now. Um, and, you know, you, you might even be kind of looking for a way out of it. Like, you know, can I, can I just pick up some extra shifts at work and not have to deal with <laughs> whatever else is going on in my life right now? Um... So yes, it's mostly stuff being brought up from the past. Like for most cancer people, I don't feel like they're having like as much active relationship drama, but it's more so stuff being brought up from the past. Uh, and it might be that the stuff that's happening currently is bring, resurfacing those old fears based on things that have happened in the past. Uh, so you're going to have some self-talk during this full moon and you're going to have to calm yourself, bring some sense in yourself, assess the situation and ask what are we actually dealing with here and how am I going to respond to it? Okay, okay. next we have Leo. Um, and for Leo, your house of work and health has been heavily affected right now. So the resolutions are happening. I feel like when I say resolution, people are going to get confused and think I'm talking about New Year's resolutions, but that's not what I meant. I meant um, things being resolved, things being solved. Um, so Leo is going to have uh, some inner peace that they gain internally. You might have lately felt like no matter how hard you work, no matter how much you do, it's never enough. It's been a really steep climb. Uh, you haven't necessarily seen the results that you expected to see in the past. You know, things didn't grow as fast as you wanted them to grow. Leo can get overly optimistic at times, so I know it happens. Um, but now you're thinking about how you can gain more peace internally so that you're not as bothered by what's going on in the outside world. Next, we have Virgo. Um, and Virgo is actually... Um, kind of blessed with these transits that are going on lately. Like I know it's transits that, like everyone else hates for the most part, but for Virgo, it's like, oh, this is my cup of tea. Um, so it's happening in your house of fun, of hobbies, and you, Virgos um, are not really good at relaxing. I don't know a single freaking Virgo who I really view as being good at relaxing. Maybe they like the idea of relaxing, but are they actually good at it? Not so much. Virgos are very work oriented and they want to be able to help people and they want to stay busy doing something. Well, now is your time to actually enjoy what you're doing and have fun with it rather than just making it feel like work. And I am a Virgo rising. Uh, my new motto uh, coming into this year has been that I don't want work to feel like work. So <laughs> that might be a, a good kind of phrase for other Virgo people to use as well. Um, and then the the full moon is happening in your uh, house of community and groups. 
So you might say to yourself, yeah, this community I used to be a part of, it was fun. I used to get along with them, but I'm not really feeling it anymore. I'm not really feeling like this is the vibe that I want my tribe to have. And I just kind of need to say goodbye. So it might be um, at least putting some friendships on hiatus, um, putting some community communities that you've been a part of on hiatus and um, not interacting with them for a while. You know, you might not be feeling the same way about some of these groups as you did in the past. Now, it's not as likely to be about like your really close friends. It's probably just gonna be more about acquaintances and communities that you're involved in. Next, we have Libra. And uh, Libra, much, much like Aries, has a lot of hard aspects uh, going on for them right now. So there's been a lot of focus on your home life, your family. And some of it might even be, you know, resurfacing things that have happened in the past. Things that have happened in the past with your home, with your parents, with your kids if you're a parent. And, you know, thinking about that and thinking about how all of that played through. And, you know, wanting to bring structure into it. Wanting to bring solutions. Like, how can I build a better life for us from the ground up? Um, now, this, this can feel stressful. This can feel like it's put a lot of burden on you. Um, but really it's an opportunity to build the life that you actually want to have, not just for yourself, but for your whole household. Um, and then you, in order to do that, you might realize that you actually need some type of career change. You need to change your goals and you need to change the way you're presenting yourself to the world, uh, really for the better of your family. So for example, if you have a job that's taking advantage of you and they just work you dang near to death. Is that good for your family? Is uh, is that helping your family really? Or do you think your family would be better off uh, having you in a job where you're appreciated and you're well taken care of so that you can live in good health, you can uh, be stress-free, you can be in a better mood? So that's the kind of resolution uh, that you're gonna be coming to during this full moon. For Scorpio, hmm, Scorpio, okay, so all the Capricorn stuff, uh, it's it's bringing in, um, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. my daughter's a Scorpio, she wants to uh, come talk about that. Okay, so uh, for Scorpio, <laughs> she walked away, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so for Scorpio, um, this, this is actually bringing a lot of new people into your life, but almost kind of reluctantly. Um, w with Saturn there and with Scorpio, like, oh my gosh, some Scorpios are so outgoing, but then some really aren't. Um, but I, I still feel like Scorpio is always, like all Scorpios I know, are protective of themselves and they don't want to let just anyone get to know them. So this is kind of a weird time for Scorpio when you might not be seeing your really close friends as often, um, but you're seeing your acquaintances more and you might be meeting more new people, uh, spending more time interacting with people who you don't know as well, which is kind of a, a weird thing to have going on. Um, I, I do see that you might have some new endeavor coming into your life that could be helping you financially in addition to that. Um, and you, you're gonna have to look kind of deeply inward during this full moon to figure out, you know, with, with some of these new people you've been dealing with and some of these connections you have that aren't super strong, you're gonna have to ask yourself, how do I actually feel about the way these people behave? Um, are my beliefs really on par with theirs? Uh, if we had differences in opinion, have they persuaded me? Have my opinions like actually started to change? Or do I just think, you know, maybe I can't trust them or can't hang around them as much because um, they just don't see things the same way that I do. Uh, so I am feeling like it's gonna be a little bit of a trust issue and that's that's really what it's gonna come down to, but it could be about um, 
like bigger opinions than just that like political opinions and stuff um but you're going to be asking some questions kind of about your circle and the people you've been hanging around so for sagittarius um sagittarius has a lot going on in their house of money right now and hopefully it will be mostly good throughout the whole year that is my hope for you sagittarius and um this uh this full moon, what did I do? <laughs> I feel like I just confused myself, I'm sorry. Sometimes I, I, I'm thinking so much about like, like I imagine the charts in my head for each individual sign without actually like changing the houses. And then um, I've been doing it for a while so I've gotten fairly good at it, but every now and then it'll still start to trip me up. Okay. So for Sagittarius, um, this is going to be uh, in your, oh my gosh, I also have brain damage, sorry. <laughs> I really don't like talking about that, but every now and then I do feel like I have to admit it. Okay, so that, yeah, that is, that is your eighth house. That's what I thought it was. I just had to check because I just totally got tripped up. Um, woke up from a concussion once and I wasn't able to read numbers anymore and I've rehabilitated a lot but every now and then I'll still get confused about what numbers are and what they represent. Okay, so um, for Sagittarius this is happening in your eighth house uh, and you, like I said, you have all that energy happening in your house of money. So there's, there's going to be some kind of uh, resolution about how you deal with money and resources that you've been sharing with other people and you know what issue what disagreement what custody battle what battle for possessions can we finally just put to rest and say that we are not fighting over these resources anymore so for some of you it could be about competition in your career uh, for others, it might be about, you know, a breakup or a divorce you had when you guys are still distributing the resources from that. Um, so next we have Capricorn. And Capricorn, you just have so many planets being thrown your way right now. And um, you, you might have some really kind of negative people you are dealing with in your life. Um, you've been changing and transforming it and growing and I feel like for the most part the energy you've had being thrown your way is positive but there might be some naysayers involved there might be some people um, criticizing you and acting like oh you haven't really changed or oh you're not really able to do the great amazing things that you've been working towards that you've been striving to do so you might have some really critical people in your life that you kind of just have to you know not even just tell them to fuck off but tell yourself like in your heart to tell them to fuck off and stop giving a shit about what they're actually saying um this is also kind of a, a period of rest for sagittarius uh, not for Sag for capricorn right now and um you might feel like you don't have the energy to be dealing with this bullcrap and that's kind of part of what's helping you uh come to this conclusion that you're just not going to waste your energy on it anymore Okay, so Aquarius, um, I, I've talked a lot about how the transits in the 12th house affect Aquarius and um, how it creates all these really uneasy feelings like, I feel like I don't know where I am, I feel like I don't know what's what, and uh, it's, it's not easy energy to process, mostly because you can't put your finger on it. You can't put your finger on what exactly is happening and why you're feeling the way that you are actually feeling right now. So uh, for Aquarius, you're going to be coming up with some change in your routine, some new thing, even if it's just a small thing, like every day when I wake up in the morning, I'm just going to think one positive thing, or I'm just going to think one thing about what I'm grateful for, or maybe I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to go and look in the mirror and do some positive affirmations for myself. Or maybe I'm going to start doing yoga every day because I feel a lot better when I do yoga and it helps me feel grounded. Um, or even just eating healthier, like the little things you can do to take care of your health. Um, you might notice it, your, your health and your spirituality are directly related. So if it's that you need more time to yourself in peace and quiet in order to be healthy, that might be a necessary thing to seek out during this time. 
uh, or maybe you need to make time to do a specific activity for yourself every single day or at least most days. Um, so that's what's going to be going on for Aquarius and um, you, you might have some people in your life right now who aren't ill intended but they still kind of have an ill effect anyway because they they aren't really understanding what you need is what I'm getting from that. Uh, so that's one thing to think of like these people aren't necessarily trying to be um, harmful to your inner peace they're not trying to uh, create disruptions in your life but I, I think some of them or at least one person in your life might be kind of doing this on accident anyway um, so you you might need to be mindful of that person and you don't necessarily have to like pick a fight with them or anything but um, maybe just get them to back off a little bit okay so last sign of the zodiac we have Pisces um, Pisces has been dealing with a lot of stuff in relation to community so who do you actually want to have in your life Pisces who is a good influence who actually has your back and helps contribute to your goals in life and um, in in order to to find those people and get the right uh, friend circle surrounding you you're also gonna have to think about well how am I actually expressing myself like what energy am I putting out there um, because the energy you're putting out there attracts people to you and for some of you your energy has been attracting negative people and you've had a lot of negative people coming into your life polluting your space um, making things feel nasty so you don't really want that Pisces uh, and you're gonna have to think more about you know how can I express myself can I have some kind of um, change of heart can I do some kind of internal transforming that allows me to attract not just better people into my life but better circumstances all together so how can i kind of send out the right message and send out the right energy um but anyway that is your horoscope uh for the full moon um this friday and i hope you enjoyed it uh make sure you have liked my facebook page don't just like it though put it on c first so go into the following tab and select uh, the icon that says see first so that you won't miss any of my posts on horoscopes uh, or any of my meme posts or anything like that um, and make sure you are also subscribed to my youtube channel and you have hit the notification bell because unfortunately with the way youtube is you're not as likely to see it if you don't hit the bell so thank you for watching and i will see you soon